Good morning, everyone. My name is Melody Marsh. I am a rising second year senior at the illustrious Howard University, studying health science with a minor in chem on the pre-med track. I'm here representing Young, Gifted, and Green, Flint, I'm sorry, Flint Public Health Youth Academy and the National Clean Water Collective. I am proud to be a voice for the youth of Flint and speak on behalf of my community about the importance of clean energy and clean vehicles. Flint and Michigan as a whole could have a significant economic and public health benefits from the implementation of clean vehicles from clean vehicles. Transportation is the leading source of carbon pollution, driving climate change in our country and is the second leading cause here in Michigan. This pollution dirties our air, threatens our health, and can lead to increased respiratory diseases like asthma. As a Flint resident, I've seen firsthand the impact of pollution on our community. Many of my friends and family members struggle with asthma and other respiratory issues. And it has been heartbreaking to see how these affect, how this affects their daily lives. Flint, Michigan has been through enough. With the long lasting effects of the water crisis and long COVID, it's time for us to take control of our community's public health. Clean energy and vehicles aren't just concepts for us, but they represent a solution to improve our health, our environment, and our future. Electric vehicles offer a solution. By adopting cleaner cars, we can dramatically cut pollution that's damaging the health of Michigan residents, especially in places like Genesee County, which currently receives a C grade for ozone pollution. This is unacceptable, especially when we have over 6,000 children and 37,600 adults suffering from asthma in our county alone. Stronger pollution standards for cars and light trucks can protect our health, as well as drive down the cost of electric vehicles to make them more affordable. Living with air pollution has been linked to higher rates of lung disease, lung diseases like asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Low income communities and communities of colors, like many of us here in Flint, are happily affected by this pollution. In Michigan, nearly 144,000 children and over 900, 500,000 adults suffer from asthma. The American Lung Association 2022 report showed that Michigan can see upwards of $51.4 billion in health benefits with the implementation of zero emission transportation and electricity resources from 2020 to 2050. But this isn't just a public health problem. It's about combating the, the climate crisis as well. The year 2023 was the hottest on record and the future looks even hotter. Climate change is making extreme weather, weather events more frequent and severe. Our communities are paying the price. From 2010 to 2020, Michigan, Michigan experienced 19 extreme weather events costing the state up to $5 billion in damages. The journey on Route Zero offers us a cleaner air and healthier environment. By reducing carbon pollution from our most polluting sector, that is transportation, and with more clean car standards, we can lower the risk of extreme weather and protect our community, uh, protect our community for future generations. We are excited to thank the Environmental Protection Agency and the Biden administration for de delivering on these historic clean car standards for all, all automobiles sorry, and light pickup trucks produced from 2027 through 2032. These standards will secure our country's clean vehicle future, protect public health, address the climate crisis, and save drivers money. We, can, we call on our state and feather, federal leaders to guard against any attempts to weaken, our, weaken or eliminate these new safeguards in the future, and instead continue to take additional steps to further clean our transportation sector. Together, we can ensure a healthier, more sustainable future for all Michigan residents. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to listen to our remarks.